Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Blowell and I'm the IPM Program Coordinator here at the Ontario Crops Research Centre in Bradford. And today we're going to show you how to extract root knot nematode eggs uh, from lettuce and tomato roots. So we're building up a root knot nematode culture here um, in our greenhouse on one of our dedicated benches. Um, and basically we've planted lettuce and susceptible tomato in soil that's naturally infested with root knot nematodes. So first we want to find if there's gulling on any of these roots. Um, sometimes there's better gulling on um, certain pots than others. Um, so we want to check that first before we start the egg extraction process. So the first thing you want to do is clip off any above ground plant uh, tissue or plant material. And then you can tip over your container and expose your roots and your soil. You also want to dry down the soil a little bit before this extraction process because if it is wet, it's going to make this whole process a little bit more difficult. So once you have um, your whole soil and root system um, exposed here, you can start tapping away on the soil to release all the soil and leave you with just the roots. And just by doing this, I can see that the roots here have some galling from root knot nematode parasitism. So I'm just finishing cleaning up this root system here. You want the final product as clean as possible. So try to get off as much soil as you can without ripping off any of the gulled roots. So just gently make your way around the root system here. And as I'm doing this, I'm noticing that there is some gulling on these roots here, but it's not a very heavy infestation. But one of the plants that we looked at earlier, it has a lot, uh, the infestation is a lot heavier. Um, so this root system here should provide a lot of root knot nematode eggs for us. So I'll finish cleaning this uh, root system up and we'll meet you in the lab uh, for the final extraction process. So we're here in the lab now, and the first thing we want to do is to cut the roots into smaller pieces. You want to cut the roots into one to two centimeter long pieces and collect them in some kind of container. So now that we have our cut sections of roots, we want to wash them a little bit just to get some of the dirt off. So we put them into a 200 sieve and use low pressure fanned water to try to get them a little bit cleaner. So now that we have our clean roots, we want to use a 0.5% bleach solution um, to help dissolve the gelatinous matrix that holds in the root knot nematode eggs. So this bleach solution here has a 7.4% sodium hypochlorite concentration, so we want to dilute that. So to do so, we want to pour in 75 milliliters of bleach into a large mason jar. You can use a 1.2 liter mason jar, a 1.6 liter mason jar, or something smaller if you need to. Put in your bleach solution and fill up the rest using tap water. So for these applications, we're going to be filling up to 1.1 liters. So now we're going to put our clean roots into our 0.5% bleach solution. You can just drop them right in and then grab your cap and we're going to shake this mason jar for four minutes. So our four minutes is up. So next what we want to do is wet our 200 sieve. And our 500 sieve. And we want to stack our 200 sieve on top of our 500 sieve. And then we can open up our bleach solution mason jar with our roots and nematode eggs. And then you want to create a little bit of a lid and pour 
the bleach solution onto the 200 sieve. And this will allow any eggs that are now released to slip through the 200 sieve and be collected in the 500 sieve. So when all the solution is drained through, we're gonna do three cycles of tap water at the 1.1 liter mark, and we're gonna shake each of those cycles for three minutes and pour directly into the 200 and 500 stack again. So while you're shaking the water and roots in the mason jar, you can put a low pressure water on the sieves that have collected the eggs um, that you just poured through to help di dilute the bleach solution and get the bleach off the root knot nematode eggs. And you can leave that while you continue. You can collect any roots that fall out of the mason jar as you're pouring and put them back into the mason jar. So after your third three minute shake with water, you can pour the whole contents from the mason jar onto the 200 sieve, including the roots. You can rinse out the jar with some water. And pour again onto the 200 sieve. And then use some light pressurized water to go over the roots and help flush out any root knot nematode eggs into the 500 sieve. And then we want to drain all of the eggs that are now captured in our 500 sieve down into the corner of the sieve for collection. And then we want to pour the eggs and contents that we've collected in our 500 sieve into our 60 millimeter counting dish. For today's application, I'll distribute them into two counting dishes as the samples are a little bit dirty. make sure you rinse in all the eggs into the counting dish. So since our sample is a little bit dirty, we have our root knot nematode eggs in here. And if you're doing a trial where you need second stage juvenile root knot nematodes, you need to wait at least two weeks with these dishes at room temperature for the eggs to hatch into their second stage juveniles. And since we have a dirty sample here, one way to get a clean sample is to put these counting dishes into Behrman pans wait seven days, and then use the 500 sieve again to extract your second stage juveniles into a clean sample. So now that we have our sample, we can bring it over to the microscope here and see how many root knot nematode eggs we have. And after first glance, it looks like we have a few eggs, but not too many but the sample will still be helpful in some of our root knot nematode trials. So thanks for watching, and we hope this root knot nematode egg extraction video was helpful for you. Thank you.